Hello everybody, welcome to this Excel 365 tutorial on combining two tables together where the column orders are arranged differently. So to get started, I have two tables here, uh, City List 1 and City List 2. I'm going to go to a new tab. Alright, so from this blank sheet here, I can pull in the data from City List 2 by just doing equals City List 2 and hit enter. And if you want to include the headers, you can do city list two all close square bracket. So you can see all the data from city list two here. And what we want to do is change the order of these columns. So I'm going to use the choose columns function, which is choose COLS. And the way this works is you put in the order of the columns that you want. So I would just put three, two, four, five, one, for example, and that changes the order of the columns. But what we want to do is match the order that the table one is in. So I'm going to use, instead of typing in three, two, four, five, one, I'm going to match the column headers from the two tables. And we're going to do that with the X match function. So X match, and I'm going to get the headers from city list one city list one open square bracket headers tab close square bracket I'm going to match them against the city list two city list two tab open square bracket headers tab close square bracket close parenthesis for the X match and hit enter so now you can see they're in rank city country population growth rate which is the same order as table one. All right, so now we want to combine it with the city list one table. So to do that, I'm going to do a V stack. So that goes equals V stack and then open parenthesis. And I'm going to do city list one, open square bracket, all to include the headers as well, comma, and then I'm going to take the headers out of this city list two because I don't want to repeat the headers. So I just delete that all and then hit enter. I just need a closing parenthesis for my uh, V stack there. It added it for me. All right. So now you can see the two tables are combined in the same order. And there are a couple of duplicates. So what we can do here to make sure that we don't duplicate values is wrap this in one more function, which is unique. And we're going to use this whole result that we've calculated already in the unique function. And that means if all of the columns match it, between two values, uh, two rows, it won't include them more than one time. So I'm going to hit enter. And you can see now there aren't duplicates. It removed the Duplicate Tokyo and a couple other ones. I hope that helps. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments section and have a good day.